All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and by the way, before we get started, I saw the complaints about my bright-ass mofo display on Twitter, so I dimmed the lights down for you so you won't have to on your phone or your iPad or your TV or anything like that because I know that should probably hurt your eyes during these videos. So there you guys go. I read the comments, don't worry. So here we are with another update about NetherRealm Studios' next game. I'll be honest, I really didn't think that I was going to be making one of these so soon. I mentioned this in my other video about what happens next. I said I wasn't going to be thinking about the next NRS game because I really didn't think we were going to get any information or anything like that. But anytime Ed Boon does a Q&A on Twitter, he always gives little nuggets, little hints about the future. And we got one big one that we're about to read here. All right, here we go. Roman asks... Can we expect a reveal for your next game soon? By soon, I mean the next six months. And Ed Boon, I love you, Ed Boon, he said, likely. Likely is huge for us because we want a new NetherRealm Studios game so bad. And six months seems like a long time, like long ways away, right? But in reality, it's not because it seems like months are passing by faster and faster the more the years pass. So before we know, we're going to be in June. And what happens in June? E3. I'm not saying that E3 is going to be, you know, the, the most likely scenario. And to be honest, I have no idea. I'm, I'm, like I said before, I'm done speculating on when things could happen. But Ed Boon answering likely for a reveal of their next game in, six, like in the span of six months, somewhere in between now and six months. Is very exciting because there's light at the end of the tunnel. I really didn't expect anything at all next year until maybe the Game Awards again because, like I said, the Game Awards are the biggest is the biggest gaming event when it comes to reveals and news and stuff like that. So I wasn't even thinking anything regarding the new NRS game anymore. But Ed Boon saying likely for a reveal in the next six months is really, really really good news for us because it could be i told you guys in my video it they could announce something tomorrow one week from now a month from now months from now like you never know and to be honest i don't think that they're gonna wait until e3 or i let me just say this i think that they're gonna do their own thing whenever they're ready to reveal something i really don't think that they're gonna reveal it at a specific event they might have something in the future at specific events but i really think that they're just going to do their own thing because like i said i think something behind the scenes you know some marketing they're getting ready for whatever type of marketing they're gonna they're gonna do for the next game and i just think they're gonna do their own thing so what i think is gonna happen whenever they're ready they're just gonna come out and say it hey look we have a reveal that's gonna be happening at this date and then they're gonna do their thing that that's what i think is gonna happen but the fact that ed boone says that it's likely that we're going to get a new NRS reveal in six months is really fucking exciting. I got to say, man, that that made my day because likely is more of a yes than a no. And I wasn't even thinking about a new NetherRealm game anymore as far as uh, next year. Um, and I definitely think that we're not going to get a re release next year. So if this game actually happens, it's probably going to come out in 2024, which is a long ways away. But to be honest, as long as we like get a reveal and have something to look forward to, I'm cool with it. So that's like the big, the big uh, question that Ed Boon answered right there, because we're going to get more, more than likely we're going to get a new reveal for the next NRS game in six months. That's exciting. All right, let's see what other questions we got. Uh, will you add previous previous licensed DLC characters into your next major release? This is a good one right here. Because even Ed himself acknowledges this is a good question. I've always wondered if fans would like to see previous DLC fighters return. Imagine a DLC pack featuring Alien, Predator, Robocop, and Terminator. Woo! Damn, Ed Boon is coming in with the heat today, ladies and gentlemen. Man... That would be such a great idea. My boy Dab earlier in the Q&A, he actually got in his uh, his uh, his shot at 
asking Ed Boon about Kratos. I think Kratos would be an amazing returning DLC character. Of course, Predator coming back. Oh, God damn. And with the way the Mortal Kombat games look now with MK11, imagine how much better MK12 is going to look. These characters would be amazing to return. That that would literally be the, the best idea ever, seriously. So, Ed, if you end up watching this, probably probably not this deep into the video, but yes, I think all of us fans would love to see returning guest DLC characters, Kratos, Freddy Krueger, Predator, Alien, Jason. It doesn't matter. Just bring them back and let us enjoy them again. Uh, will we ever see another MK versus DC? I doubt it. I already knew that that was going to be the answer because I don't think Ed Boon likes MK versus DC the same way he doesn't like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but I do. So I, I'm sorry, Ed. I love that movie. Will we ever get Beast Boy in the next Injustice game? If we make another Injustice game, then I would say likely. That is another interesting answer right there. Man, Ed gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff here. Because he said, if we make another Injustice game, meaning that Injustice is not going to be the next game that's going to be coming out. But like I said, it's not really a surprise because I think we could all pretty much see the writing on the wall. You know, it just makes perfect sense to make another Mortal Kombat game, especially with the Mortal Kombat movie that's going to be coming out probably in 2023, maybe 2024. Who knows? But it just makes sense. So that's another interesting one. If we make another Injustice game, then I would say likely. So Beast Boy pretty much a shoe in for the next Injustice game whenever that happens. Something with licensing must have happened. So I guess that that's a perfect example right there. Uh, what was the reason MK11 ended earlier than anticipated in August? You said not even close. MK11 support was the longest we supported a game. Next game should be even longer. Wow. I'm reacting to, the, to, the, to these questions right now. Like this is the first time that I'm reading these. That's interesting right there. So that means that the support for the next game is going to be even longer. So that means that, you know, that the, the two-year life cycle for games, NetherRealm games, that shit is over. So NetherRealm is now going to focus on supporting their game more like a Tekken, more like a Street Fighter. These games last for years, like five to six years, right? And that's cool. As long as we're getting updates, we're getting characters, we're getting stuff like that. Everyone has always been saying, you got to support your game for longer. Like, I think supporting a game for longer equals to the game developing, equals the, the game being more popular as it goes. Um, so I think that's, a, that's definitely good that NetherRealm is going to focus more on supporting a single game long term. Because I think we could all agree we love Mortal Kombat, right? So having a Mortal Kombat game that's probably going to be the best Mortal Kombat of all time having them take this long, being supported for five years, four years, five years, six years, whatever, is going to be pretty cool. And I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This video has been way too long, but I did bring you as I was just reacting to Ed Boon's answers. But the important one was the one at the beginning, right, where he says that it's likely that there's going to be an announcement of the new game in the next six months. So any other information, any other hints, I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.